it was the real first major target that uh, in which we had uh, quite a lot of opposition we were actually intercepted over the target by Japanese fighters we'd had to fly right across Sumatra to get there and obviously being a fairly large formation the Japanese were able to get a few aircraft airborne they had balloons um, we lost uh, quite a lot of people there and uh, three of them three, three of the members of one crew they went down and they were taken prisoners and the uh, the Japs did really treat them badly in the end they beheaded them we were patrolling across, above the target area at 15,000 feet uh, covering the, the bombers as they attack and their withdrawal weaving around so that you can keep your eye on your um, Avengers or the attacking aircraft all the time watch them go in and then watch them as they come out and cover their withdrawal because they're always vulnerable at, at that time and when they have formed up and then e escort them out of the area because we had to go all the way back again there was a fair amount of combat over the over the target there were apparently there were 13 Japanese aircraft shot down one of which a Tojo I got myself we were as I say we were top cover and this aircraft my number two and I spotted him above us because once we were over the target the actual formation uh, broke up to a certain extent and we had to rendezvous with the bombers on the far side of the target but we were, had a free hand over the target and we spotted this one above us so we set off to climb to meet him and he must have seen us as he turned towards us and a little bit of a dog fight developed with you know a few tight circles and things like that eventually I got behind him and opened fire and hit him and as I passed behind underneath him my number two a lad called Jack Forsyth who hadn't in fact used his guns because he was keeping cover on me saw the pilot stand up in his cockpit and oh, he didn't actually see him jump up the parachute came out so he was dragged out of his aircraft by the parachute and that was the end of him fly across Sumatra so they knew we were coming uh, and it was it was uh, yes they had a uh, barrage balloons were up which was a bit frightening and uh, of course they had uh, aircraft fighter aircraft so we just had to take a chance amongst the barrage balloons I mean, there it was, this enormous um, refinery, and uh, take your pick, because anything you hit would cause damage. We had one bad incident there. We, we were told that there were balloons, which we hadn't encountered before, and some of the fighters were supposed to go over the first rig of balloons, which we could, we could dive over the first and shoot the balloons down the other side and one of our squadrons came in the wrong direction and straightened the balloons I think they, about five planes went down there 15 people, three in each plane 
and I felt a, a draft on my face. And why the front screen hadn't shattered, I don't know, but there was a hole right there in front of my .5 bullet hole. And we looked for them. All we could see was an indentation in the armour plate beyond my head. So I must have been right over the... Where the bullet went out, I don't know, because we used to come back with a fair amount of bullets <laughs> holes here and there. <laughs> And on the way in, the flight commander in charge of the attack, a man called Major Ronnie Hay, or Romney, who directed the attack from about 20,000 feet, um, told us to take on the barrage balloons and shoot them down so the Avengers would have a free run. And we shot down as many of them as we could, but they're not easy to shoot down, actually. You see, you puncture the thing and then they only float down, so you don't really know whether you've got rid of them until, until they go down. And we fired our rockets at this um, pumping station. But we had been told it was going to be very tough. Um, and we soon found out why, because fighters came from everywhere. There were dozens of them. Our fighters peeled off and took, it, took them on. Uh, they were whirling, dogfighting around the sky. And I know the, big, the first shot we got was having to decide to go through the box barrage and we realised that something they hadn't told us and they didn't know about was a target was protected by balloons. Now, balloons are the kiss of death to a dive bombing squadron, but it was too late. The air group leader had all called the attack, 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 dive, 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 and that was it. And we went, you know, and some of them got their wings shorn off by the barrage balloons. Uh, we dropped our bombs very successfully. You could see the, fight, the Jap fighters as we pulled out, because remember, you're, out, you're no longer got the protection of flying in formation. So you're pulling out in ones and twos, and they, the, the Jap fighters knew it, and they were waiting for us. Uh, our own fighters were very busily engaged with another load of Jap fighters miles away by then. Um, they came after us. The, our pilots were using the... Uh, the Avengers almost like fighters. They were hammering away with their front guns. Some of, the, some of our pilots successfully actually shot Japanese fighters down with their front guns. We were hammering away with our turret guns. We shot down a load of fighters. Uh, and eventually got back into the formation, protection formation, back to the fleet. The time we got back to the fleet, I mean, aircraft were dropping into the sea either from damage, running out of juice, because uh, it was a, a terrifically long journey. That particular attack, there was a terrific crash. Just, I think, I'm, I'm not sure now even, uh, but I think anti aircraft uh, shell exploded just below my aircraft, but it um, took a battering and the observer and air gunner they in some way were knocked out mo momentarily and unfortunately I was alright and uh, anyhow we flew back and after I landed on uh, the plane was ins inspected uh, and it was decided it was beyond repair and it was just pushed over the side the airframe was twisted my observer, he reckoned it was the explosions from the uh, refinery that uh, affected us, but I'm, I'm not sure. We lost quite a number of aeroplanes. Some shot down, some shot down by flak, uh, but the major target we learnt afterwards was 75% destroyed and no further use to the Japanese at all during the rest of the war. 
which was the object of the exercise.